Well, today on CI Living is the 2020 Our Town Grill Master Showdown. And we have here hanging out with us from the Illinois Pork Producers. Dun, da, da, da. It is Mike Borgic <laughs> and Casey Teams. You guys, you know these folks <laughs> over here. They've been with us all summer long. They're providing the pork today, and you guys provided the pork in every Our Town along the way this summer. So, what excites you most about this being the big finale? The food. <laughs> <laughs> the food, and you will be providing a judge representing the Illinois Pork Producers Association, so that's exciting too. Yeah, absolutely. So Mike Haig, who is a past board president, is here with us today, and he'll be helping to judge um, the competition and hopefully bring a little bit of his expertise in as a pork producer. We'll and get to meet him in a little yes, bit. Yes, we will, and we have enjoyed having you all, and we appreciate your support, but you also support a lot of people in the community, which is kind of the theme of your shirt there, Bacon Never Broke Your Heart, which goes to that cause. Talk about that. Yeah, so this is part of our pork power program. This is something that we've been doing now for over 10 years. Uh, we started it with pork producers donating pigs to local lockers that would then go into um, the local food banks. And so we had producers who were doing that on their own every once in a while, but we kind of organized it as a team effort with Pork Power. So we sold our t-shirts, Broke Bacon Never Broke My Heart. Uh, we still have some available for sale on our website, ilpork.com. <laughs> so go over there and check those out because uh, they are going fast. We're actually out of the largest size. We're, oh. you know, the smaller you go, the more we have, but I rock that shirt all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I, I like exercise. I bet. She wore it on vacation a lot. Too. I did. <laughs> so give us the lay of the land today, really quickly, Casey. I would love to know what dishes are being prepared right now and what kind of what's the rules. Yeah, that's a really good question. So uh, each of the grill masters from the five different towns have uh, brought in their specialty dish. It's been an opportunity for them to show off their creativity a little bit. It also shows the versatility of pork and all the different things that you can do with it. It's not just a, a one and done kind of cut. And then they've also been provided uh, pork chops that are boneless and an inch and a half thick and we'll see what they've been able to do with those here on site. And so. our judges have a tough job ahead of them judging sure those do. two different dishes. What are we going to do if there's a tie? It's a tough job but it's a pleasurable job. You know? Yes. I don't feel too bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. But could there be a tie? There could be a tie. Uh, we did talk oh. about this as a, as a staff over at the office uh, earlier this week on what things might happen if that happens. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we, we've got three great judges here today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they, they get to score up to 40 points per each, oh. uh, for each category. So for How each do the points item. work? Talk, talk about the points. So the points would be 1 to 10, and they're judged on uh, four different levels taste tenderness creativity and appearance Ooh. so we've got uh if you if you walk around here we'll talk to some of these guys later on i think but the the plating on how they actually present the the dish is going to be really important uh, because there could be you know there's 10 points right there so hmm. uh, i've been talking to some of these guys and i think it'll be really interesting to see what they're going to come up with you know what they've already a few of them have already tried to butter aaron and i up did you know, know. that we've got hoopston over there Hup, hoopston was walking around cookies. with stuffed <laughs> mushrooms paris is walking around with baked goods i mean it's gonna be gonna be a tough what one are, like what are you looking for specifically what would win you over for me personally i like to see some really uh good tasting pork but then also it's got to have that right tenderness too because when you're cooking things the right way uh the tenderness is key for me and what's uh, so the degrees th so these pork chops need to be cooked to 145 degrees aaron you should know this 145 he said he was going to test me last time, and he did it, and I already forgot. So, 145, <laughs> committing it to memory for the we'll, sixth time. We'll, later on, we'll come up with a little quiz for you oh. just to see what you learned. Oh, okay. goodness. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right. Well, still to come here, we're going to meet the judges behind today's big competition, and then um, we're going to meet the grill masters as well and see what they've got on their grills. Stay with us.